Kind of creativity. So today I'm going to be showing you a sort of like a male gift idea. This is the gift I actually gave to my dad for his birthday. So it can be great for birthdays, Christmases, anything, and even if you just want to make it for your male loved one at any point just to say thank you or something like that it's a, a perfect gift and I think it works for pretty much most males as long as they like shave it will be fine you are covered so without further ado let's hop right into it but just before we do make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let's go So all you want to do is grab some glycerin, rich hazel and hydrogen peroxide. I will leave the link to the recipe that I followed to make this down below, but I'm simply just measuring out the parts of hydrogen peroxide and witch hazel into a jug and then adding my glycerin. I am using a shot glass just because the recipe was in glasses and I didn't want to make like loads and loads, I only wanted a little bit to fill my bottle. So I'm simply mixing up all the ingredients and then adding um, a few drops of my essential oils before giving that a thorough, thorough mix. The essential oils I used was eucalyptus, tea tree and lavender. Um, so once I'd given that a really good stir, and added all of the oils in. I simply grabbed my bottle and my bottle that I'm using is actually a vinegar bottle but I glued the little hole on the lid shut so that it wouldn't leak. So all I did then was pour the solution into it and left this in the fridge. After it had been in the fridge for a while, um, I think it sits like four days and shake it in between, I got some metallic gold paint I'm just going to give this a thorough thorough mix so that all of it is mixed together to get the really nice gold colour and then I'm simply painting all over the lid for this just to jazz it up a bit and I also ended up um, sticking a little piece of um, diamond quartz on top of it as well. The next one is a um, moisturising balm aftershave. So all I'm doing is grabbing some shea butter and measuring about a third of a cup of that. Again, I'm using one of these little plastic cups because I didn't need to make too much. So you want about a third of a cup of shea butter and I'm just putting this into an old mug and a third of a cup of coconut oil as well. And I'm popping that in the cup as well. And then just finish up with a quarter of the cup of olive oil. Again, I will leave the link to the recipe down below so that you guys can read it off if you want to try doing this project. So once I'd added all of my ingredients into my mug, it's time to melt it and so to melt it I just put it in a double boiler and waited it for it to thoroughly melt as you can see here it was just a nice liquid and then I dried off the bottom of the mug and put it in the fridge to set and you want it to set hard and sort of opaquey like this before grabbing a whisk and you can do this with a hand whisk like me or an electric whisk um, if you put it in a bigger container 
and just whisk it up. As you're whisking you want to add your chosen essential oils and again I chose eucalyptus for this and once I had finished mushing it up I simply spooned the mixture into my jar bit by bit. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!